Welcome back to our latest edition of Second Year Rising Star, where we talk about one player from every NFL team that we think could be a rising star for that particular team. Now, today we're talking about the Carolina Panthers, uh, and there was a couple players I could have, you know, really mentioned uh, with this. I, I felt like, you know, they had a pretty good draft class in 2021, um, but at the end of the day, I had my draft crush on Davion Nixon. Absolutely. Every step of the way. Um, you know, I just felt like anytime you watch the tape on this guy, uh, he was just making plays. And, you know, they got him in the fifth round there, I believe, uh, with the 158th overall selection. Yes, could I have mentioned J.C. Horn? Yes. Uh, Terrence uh, Marshall Jr. or Brady Christensen, Tommy Tremble, any of those guys. Even Chuba Hubbard, absolutely. But uh, Chuba Hubbard kind of broke out in his own way last year. Um, and, uh, you know, you take a look also at J.C. Horn. I think he's going to come back and do some really good things. But, I mean, when we talk about Second Year Rising Star, we want to talk about nobody uh, that nobody is talking about or somebody that nobody is talking about, excuse me. So, you know, I, I think there's a lot of different things you got to consider here when you talk about Second Year Rising Stars, and Davion Nixon definitely fills that role. So, um, you know, I, I think it's really important to really first start um, from the beginning. And as I pull things up here, and I ask that you bear with me. Uh, I think that you have to really start by taking a look at his college production uh, and his NFL production. Now, he had, overhead, he had an over 66.0 PFF grade last year um, for the Panthers. And I think, you know, when you take a look at his, uh, specifically at his time at Iowa, you know, five and a half sacks his junior year there um, as a Hawkeye, had 45 tackles, 13 and a half tackles for loss. One pick six against Penn State. Yes, yes, uh, you love to see it. Like, do you know how hard it is to get a pick six as a defensive tackle? It's just... That just shows you how uh, how athletic he is, all the different things he can do. Um, and, you know, really, it was just it, it was awesome just seeing him do it. Um, but you'll just see a guy in my mind, in my opinion, that looks like uh, in every single way he is ready to take over a game and do what he has to do uh, to be able to win it. So, um, you know, as you can see there, and like we mentioned before, did have a 66.0 PFF grade or close to it. Uh, then he came to the Panthers last year, had half a sack. Uh, where he had that PFF grade, uh, played in seven games, uh, went down with a believe I believe a knee injury uh, overall, but um, did come back and do some good things. Uh uh, at, during this preseason, which we'll get into in just a moment, but had a total of nine tackles, including half a sack, half a star. Uh, it, uh, yeah, please, I, I love that movie. I'm sorry, but The, the Longest Yard is one of the greatest movies of all time. Uh, but yeah, had to have that, that half sack there. It really provided the kind of some juice for that Carolina Panther defensive line. Um, and you're going to see it in plays like this, and we'll bring you up a play here. Um, this is courtesy of John Ellis, and we'll bring it full screen here for you guys. So it t talks about beating a screen here with quickness, and that's exactly what uh, what Devion Nixon brings. So you're going to see Devion Nixon right here. Um, I'm move my mouse so you guys can see he's going to be going up. Um, and now, yes, this is against the Bills' second team, but overall, you really like what you see on this rep here. So. You can see the Bills trying to set up a screen here. How do you know that the linemen, they immediately start and then they shed their, uh, their spe uh, specific defensive lineman that's over them, uh, or at least they try to in this case. But you'll see Devion Nixon does a great job here of making sure that he beats this thing with speed and that's what he does he just has an incredible get off so you'll see here uh first thing here right away gets his hands uh and uses his hands very well because this offensive lineman uh, usually wants to get their hands on their man and do their thing uh in terms of putting them where they want to go but he immediately uses a uh, great hand usage here uses that swipe um and then continues to just beat him with speed here and this is how he can really disrupt this play because it doesn't really have time to develop because yes these offensive I mean, don't get out in front of it, but also this running back is, is you know, it's taking him a little bit of a time, but Davion Nixon is right there. So he, he really forces the, uh, the play here and does a fantastic job of uh, making sure that he's getting pressure. Another uh, play here, courtesy of John Ellis, you're going to see uh, Davion Nixon here. Uh, and, you know, this is just, again, great speed, great hands. This is last year, his rookie season playing against the Eagles and Jalen Hurts. So going up against... Uh, I think it's Atlanta Dickerson. I can't remember. It doesn't matter. Anyway, so you'll see him first. He's got control on his hand, uh, control on his man, uses his hands, does a beautiful swim move here, puts pressure on Jalen Hurts, uh, and just really finds ways to continue. And gives him a little shove there at the end, a little bit of love. Um, but, you know, again, he starts with the hands on a man. That's what he does. Great get off, great hands on a man, great swim move to set up that uh, to set up that move and then gives him another little playful shove. So, again, I, I really think you're going to like what you see from Davion Nixon here. Yes, I know you got Derek Brown and Matt E. Adonis uh, and all those play, all those guys. I get it. But overall, you're very excited about a guy um, that can do all these different things uh, and really help out your football team. I'm sorry about the uh, the whole Ugh, sorry about the sun there. I'm actually going to, we'll go ahead and move the, the laptop over here. But overall, 
like I said, you were really excited about what a guy like Davion Nixon can do for your defensive line. Uh, I feel he's going to be a player that, you know, he might not get all the snaps, but when he does come in, he's going to be disruptive. He's going to win with speed and great hand usage, and he's going to shock him in. And again, maybe he'll get a pick six for the Panthers. Uh, that'd be great. I think there was a couple, was it last year that he had saw a couple like during uh, training camp? Like he just has an eye for the football. He's just a special player. So I'm really excited about Davion Nixon, and I think he's going to be a second year rising star for the Carolina Panthers. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below leave a like and a comment it helps people find the show we greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get you guys are all truthfully awesome we love every single one of you down in the description below you'll find all of our social media platforms uh, so make sure you guys give us a like and a follow there also remember to uh, give us a listen and sub on itunes and finally if you have anything else you'd like to cover send us an email at the sports bp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below and we would love to cover but let us know what you guys think about carolina panthers second year rising star in defensive tackle Debbie on Nixon.